Well, hello there, folks. How are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual. And a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. And it's lovely to see you. And you will see I've gone back to the old intro, but I will be looking to get a new intro for this year, just for a wee change, because I have had this one for years now. So I think it's time for a wee change. But on to this week's recipe. And it's a cracker of a recipe. It's so tasty. A delicious chicken and mushroom and a savoury white sauce with the penny pasta. So the first thing we're going to do is get your pasta on to boil. I am using penny pasta. I think it just works so well with this beautiful sauce. So get some boiling water into a pan with a good handful of salt as well. Get that on to boil. Put your pasta in and then you can top it up with more water. And then just, you know, let that boil until it's just about tender. You don't want this too soft because it's going to cook for a wee while in the sauce as well. So just pop that to the side, probably for about six or seven minutes. Meanwhile, you can go on and do your chicken and mushrooms. So pop some olive oil into the bottom of a pan and I'm going to add three cloves of garlic. I've just roughly chopped this, but you can mince this if you prefer. And then just pop that in a sort of low to medium heat just for a minute or so, just to let the flavour of the garlic come out. But you don't want too much colour on that and you certainly don't want it to burn. And then to this, you want to add your onion. I am using shallots, but you can use onion if you don't have any shallots. And you just want to let these soften for a good three or four or possibly five minutes until they're starting to go translucent. And when they look something like this, you are ready to move on. So they should be lovely and soft at this stage. To that, I'm going to add some oregano and also some Italian herbs, but you can add dill or tarragon, whatever you prefer. But I just think the Italian herbs and the oregano work really well in this. I'm also going to add a wee dash of salt and pepper as well. So around about half teaspoon of each. But again, you can adjust this to your own taste. You can use black pepper, white pepper. I am using black pepper as you can see. So just give everything a good stir together. And again, you just want to let these cook away for about a minute, just to let all the flavours come out and mingle together. And then we can add the chicken. I am using chicken fillets or chicken tenders, but you can use chicken thighs, you know, boneless, obviously, or chicken breast, whatever you prefer and whatever you've got. But just make sure they are cut into nice, small, bite-sized pieces. Give them a good stir around to make sure it's coated and all those lovely flavours and let this cook for about five minutes. But you might need to come back a couple of times, you know, just give it a good stir just to make sure that it's cooking evenly all the way around just like this. And like I said, wee bite sized pieces like this will only take about eight minutes in total to cook. But if you're using bigger chicken, it will take a wee bit longer. But once your chicken is just about cooked and it's got a few minutes left to go, you can get in and add the mushrooms. So I was happy with this. So I'm just going to push it to the back or push it to the side to let me get the mushrooms in. So I am just using closed cap baby button mushrooms. But again, use whatever mushrooms you prefer. Give these a very gentle stir because we don't want them to all break up. And these have a tendency to break up if you're too rough with them. So just pop a lid on and let these soften for about five minutes. And you know, and they will go nice and soft. And then you can give them a good old stir and they're not going to break up the same way. So just pop your lid on and give them about five minutes. And like I said, we are going to come back and give them a final stir. So this was me five minutes later off with the lid. And as you can see, they have softened up a good bit. And I'm just going to give these a really good stir around just to make sure everything is nicely combined. Just like this, super simple. And by now, your pasta should be just about ready. Mine's is about 75% of the way done. So I'm going to take it off the heat and leave it in the water at the back. I'm going to go in with one chicken oxo cube, but you can use whatever chicken stock cube you prefer. Give that a really good stir around. We're going to use some of the water from the pasta to create the sauce. So about 300 ml. If you like a really saucy pasta, you can add more water, but just be careful you don't add too much because you don't want to dilute the flavour 
too much because this is quite a mild flavour anyway. So I've added about 300ml of the pasta water. Let that cook for a couple of minutes to reduce slightly. And then I'm going to add some cream and also some creme fraiche at just at the same time and give these a gentle stir together just to make sure everything is coated and well combined. Pop this into a lower heat and then you just want to let these cook and simmer for another few minutes together just to reduce that sauce just ever so slightly. And once your sauce has reduced by about two or three minutes, you can add in the cooked pasta. But like I said, this isn't fully cooked yet because we are going to let this cook away in the sauce for another couple of minutes. And by the time your pasta is ready, you know, it's just going to be wonderful. That beautiful sauce will have absorbed into your pasta and your pasta will be a lot more puffy as well and it is ready to serve at this stage you know once you give this another few minutes just simmering away in the sauce it will be ready to serve but I'm going to go another wee step another wee step extra and I'm going to give this a really good stir together like I said it's ready to serve at this point if you like but I am going to put the lid back on turn the heat off and just let this sit in the heat you know, with the lid on, with the heat off for another few minutes and it's going to soak up more of that sauce and the pasta is going to get even softer and in my opinion, it's just a lovely way to have it. It just complements the sauce wonderfully, having it lovely and soft like this. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, but you don't have to do, you know, you don't have to do that. You can serve at that stage if you prefer, but I highly recommend you give it a go. You know, if you haven't tried this method, do give it a go because it's absolutely wonderful. But if you do like a saucier sauce, you might want to skip that stage. But I'm just going to pop it into the bowl just to let you see what it's like and those wee pasta tubes are just full of that lovely sauce as well it's so delicious you can add a wee bit of parmesan to the top of this as well just for a wee bit of a cheesy kick and a wee bit more extra punch if you prefer and we just had some garlic bread at the side as well so do let me know if you're planning and giving that one a go it's such simple flavors but they are just delicious and work so well together and just before i leave you i wanted to say as usual a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page and to the channel members here as well for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well it's all very much appreciated and i will catch up with you during the week for another wee video or three so until i see you next mind to take care of yourselves and i'll see you off soon back here on what's for tea take care and bye for now bye now